Okay, so welcome back to Dystopian Gaming with Porthos. Now this game, I just thought it was such a cracking little game, I'm just going to play some more. Oh, I actually enjoyed it, I surprisingly. So uh, let's just head on now, I'm going to click continue. We, we've had the first look, so this might be officially episode one. So we're going to start a little bit ahead of the actual beginning, we're not going to look at the, uh, the intro and all that, we're going to get straight into the fun. You can see some more cats getting ready, so what's this little thing? I think it's a little bonus we got before, is it? Stay. Combine the st stat bot, arms, legs. To use, click any stat bot set when you have collected all three to assemble the bot. Okay, so we need to. We need to. Um, we need more parts to assemble it. We'll just leave that there for now and see how it goes. So we've got 35 time units out of 110. Four cats that way, three cats this way. Let's put, an these These are quite protective. Let's put another one of those up there and just see see what happens. Let's, uh, let's defend. Here we go, spiders watching. Here they come. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, one more. We survived. We survived. Able to read our book in peace about furry critters crawling all over us. Next chapter. Let's do it. I'll let you pause it and read this at your leisure. Watermelon head cat. Now I know why all grandma's watermelons are missing from her garden. This guy has this guy lost pouncing low and fast. Good old melon head. He actually has a watermelon helmet. And we collected another stamp, Vice President. Oh, okay. Don't know what they do. Some kind of bonus. So we can get two watermelon cats. They're going to be low pouncers, so they're going to try and take out the chairs, I suppose. Uh, we might need some. We know the top. Forty-five units. This will take thirty-five. I can use a scroll wheel to. Thirty-five units left. And one on top. That's a bit silly. Okay, let's just see how what happens. Here they come, moving away. Oh, this is a side one. Oh. oh no, I don't think this is going according to plan. Look at that cat, purring away. I'm trying to read our book. from the watermelon cats and I think it all it needed was a rearrangement what's this what can we do with these spray pouncing cats with uh, water with water wet cats do one less damage last three squirts to use Aim the target at pouncing cats during defenders. Oh, we can actually, we can actually um, squirt the cats as they come. Okay. Let's see what happens with this. Oh, okay. Seems that have enough charge to power up the movie bot. Okay, I think I saw a few more items that I could use to build my fort in one of the rooms downstairs. Okay, let's go explore. 
get a little move it bot. I'm finding these stamps everywhere. I guess the cat's got the grandma stamp collection. Hopefully I can get them all back for him. Ah, I see, a little mini game. What's this? So we can go downstairs and have a look. Have a look, see. What's this one? Is it too dark? It smells funky in here. Grand funk. Uh, we can't see anything, I think, maybe. TV. Lamp. Any cat within the lamp lights have the damage reduced. Oh, okay. Protect against fatter, <laughs> fatter cats. This is only 20 time units, so let's get this. More cats. Let's try it out on the old bean bag. And there we are. Let's go. Here they come. do about this situation. These brooms are pretty good. Got through. Okay. Two of these. And a mattress. I think that's the way it ends. Let's try it. Let's go! Dun -dun. Okay, that takes two bits. Yeah, I think it's the one. I think we've done it this time. Wait. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Next chapter. More reading stuff. Some kind of camouflaged cow. So there's more stamps, windmill stamp. And sealed and secure. Okay, nice, nice, nice. More cats this time. Two watermelons to the right, one to the left, and four ginger toms. Now, I think brooms are good against the side cats. So I think this is going to have to be a must. And then after this, we can see what we did before this way. And I think that should be a good 
Look at little fort. Very symmetrical. Very symmetrical. Here we go. Let's do it. <laughs> oh, yes. The brooms. Wow. Oh, another one to the right. Oh, we did it. We did it. Need another broken piece. Need to put this back. Oh, it's a different colour. Okay, the brooms were a good idea last time. See how that goes. An extra. Okay, let's um no, let's let's do the fender then maybe next time. Okay cats, bring it on. I'm gonna read this book in peace. Left to the right. Oh thing is they've they've knocked out It would have been okay. It would have been okay from the top. We need extra defense side defenses. Get rid of that top one and put a broom on I reckon. Two this way. So one. Hmm. Hmm. Let's try it. Yeah, so far, so good. But we was able to read our book. It's a subject dog. Oh, he's doing. Basically, the granddad was doing experiments, and he tried the dog, and it didn't work. Basically, and the best subjects were cats. And that's why he has so many cats in the house. I'm sure they're great companions when you aren't trying to do something in peace. Okay guys, I'm going to leave it here. In the next episode we can go exploring for new stuff, new furniture, and maybe add it to the fort for additional protection. Until ne next time, I'm Porthos and this has been Cat Meow. Watermelon head cat.